buckled in because of this strong northerly wind. Kennedy doesn't get a favourable bounce. There's Brian Root first touch in senior ranks for his new side, Essendon. Ball out of bounds, though. And it will be a free kick to Hawthorne to be taken by Russell Green. He's had a very good season for Hawthorne. Certainly will need him firing today. A chance for Wood to mark, but it's picked up by Terry Wallace. Back it goes towards Bradbury at right centre wing for Essendon. Danaher, and a mark. Good mark. This fellow, in my opinion, would be one of the favourites to poll very well in the Brownlow medal. He is doing the correct thing and going for the punch, but Danaher making very good use of the body. Got the front posse and a fine mark. Gets underneath it. Goal. Didn't matter. Fine shot for goal. Players misjudging the flight of it in the goal square. It seemed perhaps to be carried by the strong breeze close to the 10 metre square. And it sailed through only just and a great start to Essendon. Well, the Bombers off to a great start, as Peter said. Uh, one goal. That's the goal. And a lovely kick. I thought there may have been a free kick against uh, one of the players there, but the umpire said no, and Donnell very happy about the result. Just on two minutes gone now, six points the difference. Set a bounce again, knocked out by Pate. There's a go for Knights. Fred Eagles the pack that time, a hand pass coming out to Mew. Mew with another one back, and there we see Eda breaking clear at centre field pass. And the mark, oh, he dropped an easy mark, as did so. Rene Kink a chance. It's a left footer, a hurried one down there to half forward. Coming out to meet it now is Ayers. A fumble there by Ayers and Mews picked up by Donnell. Over to Foles, a ball. The ball back there towards the full forward position, but a mark taken there by Moore. Moore with a short pass, not a good one. And the ball is out of bounds. And there'll be a throw in from that uh, half forward flank position for um, Essendon, about 70 metres around from their goal. Not bad crowded today because Hawthorne, not one of the biggest draw cards in the league, I'd say around about the 20,000 mark. Bombers must win this match today. Picked up by Robertson. Oh, he got grabbed him by the leg, but the umpires didn't play on because Bacchanara had the ball. That would have been a disadvantage to the Hawthorne side. Off the top of the pack, a chance now for Knights, but Carey knocked it on. Oh. Down goes Brereton, but the umpire called play on again. This allows Duckworth to clear the ball out wide and grabbed on the line by Clark. Hesitates a bit, but finally gets the kick back there in the way as Russell Green and takes a great mark in defence. Russell Green's had a fine season. As a matter of fact, he's had a great, uh, well, a lot of games since uh, transferring from St Kilda a few years ago. Over to Robertson again. Ball back there, smothered by Clayton. Picked up well on the first bounce. And the ex-Richmond player breaks clear, drives the ball back out wide. And there's a mark. Oh, he's dropped an easy mark, the big fellow Merritt. But he recovers okay. Now he's clear, goes for a short pass. It's a good one. And Timmy Watson's got it right in front. And he'd only be about, uh, let me see, no more than, uh, well, he wouldn't be uh, more than uh, 35 metres out. Essendon making the play at the moment. Doing pretty well, and they must win this game because they've got the chance of going out the five if they don't. And that's a good kick by Watson on the goal. So the Bombers off to a great start. Two goals, 12 points for the Hawthorne side yet to score. Hawthorne slow to start, as they have been in a number of games this year. Clayton putting the ball forward. Merritt seemed to make a mess of the mark. Well, he did. There's no doubt about that. But to his credit, he beat two Hawthorne opponents. Struck the tackle from Chris Mew and a beautiful pass taken by Tim Watson. Pete, even though um, the breeze does seem to be flowing across the ground, it is favouring the end that Essendon are kicking to. Very marginally, Lou. Four and a half minutes gone. Essendon's goals to Watson and Danaher. Hawthorne yet to cross the half-forward line. Back yet to cross the centre line. Knocked down by Madden. Hogging Horn. Can't get rid of it. Payton. Well caught. Free kick in the back. Payton played a fine game against Dempsey last week. Did some useful things around the ground. Clark tried to mark it one-handed. Not successful. Scooped out. Kink. Gave it to Bahaja. Chance for Bradbury. In towards centre forward. Off the hands of the pack, a chance again for Green. Certainly had a lot of possession so far in the first quarter. And Green goes with the educated kick along the ground, over the boundary line, a throw-in left half-back flank for Hawthorne. Essendon doing all the attacking in the first six minutes of the quarter. 
Knocked down by Muir at the second chance. Picked up by Watson. Almost a mark. Green again. Well caught by Bradbury. Or well, Watterson it was. Clark goes in to assist him. And umpire Glenn James has decided on a bounce. I'm talking to a couple of the players before he does indeed bounce it. Right forward pocket for Essendon. Mew, a big punch away to no one in particular. DP Domenico is there. The ball out of bounds. Only about 10 or 15 metres further around. Uh, Pete, I've noticed over the last couple of weeks, umpires not that liberal with free kicks as they used to be, Pete. No, they were hard to win last week and also last night. A play on call from that tackle. Now it's a free kick too high, says umpire Glenn James. It will be an Essendon free kick going to Frank Donnell. A last-minute inclusion in today's side. And Donnell will be about uh, 50 metres out, goes for a short pass. Not a good one. Oh, it's worked out OK and Foles have got the mark. And it would have been a free kick, I should imagine, yes. too, for one on the back. So Foles only about uh, 40 metres out, 45 metres out from goal directly in front. Has a chance now to put the Bombers' third goal on the board. Also looking a little bit uninterested in proceedings at the moment. Well, I, we've seen them uh, start off like this before. They seem to take a while to get going, but once they put their minds to it, they seem to bounce back. There's the kick. And that's another goal. Three straight shots for goal. Essendon and their 18 points on the board. The Hawks yet to score. Well, we've only gone just on seven minutes. And this is a great start uh, for Essendon and certainly would boost the morale of a team that's been flagging over the last few weeks as we watch that again. Short pass. Well, he's got the mark and the free kick just about, I would say. So we're back to the centre again. With the Bombers looking really good at the moment out here at Windy Hill in the match of the day. And we certainly hope that you're enjoying wherever you may be throughout Australia. Knocked out by Madden. And the umpires found a free kick. And it'll go to uh, Payton. I think someone might have gone over the line. So it goes to Wallace from a hand pass. Ah, great mark tonight. Oh. Peter Knights would be about uh, 55 metres out from goal. This is a long kick for Peter Knights. Didn't have such a great day last week against North Melbourne, but uh, that mark against uh, Ronnie Andrews may give him a bit of confidence. The kick by Knights. Madden couldn't hold that mark, and that's the Hawthorne's first score for the match coming at the eight-minute mark. They're now one point to uh, Essendon, three goals, 18. Notice, waiting now for the ball to come back into play. Out wide, Di Pietro Menigo in front. That's a great mark to Wood, and he started off pretty well today, playing his first match for the Bombers after transferring uh, from Richmond. And was a, a ex-Richmond skipper. Punched away by Moore. Umpire said he got in the back of Merritt. And, of course, Merritt takes the free kick out there on the centre wing position. Not wasting any time. Looking there for Renee Kink and Matt Nice. Danaher with the mark. And they're looking good at the moment, the Bombers. They've got their tails up in the air. The kick by Danaher's a long one. It'll come around all right. That's a goal. Two goals to Danaher. And the Bombers fourth. They're in a four goals, 24 points. The Hawthorne, one point only. Four marks. So seven goals in 17 minutes. It will be for Essendon if he can kick this. And from 15 metres out, I think... He'd run and hide if he missed it. It's a goal. Right out into the street. Four goals to Danaher. And the Hawks looking a pretty sorry lot at the moment. 44 points the difference. 17 and three-quarter minutes gone. Well, it's an amazing start by Essendon. And, uh, of course, we watch this again as Merritt boots it long. And that's the start of their play at the moment. Long kicking at the goals. Getting it up there as quick as they can. That's a great mark taken by the, Hawth uh, the Essendon captain. Well, Hawthorne have not done anything right so far. Well, they've been into attack, I think, uh, on Once. three occasions. It's well, gone over their half forward point. line. That's right. But they've been in over their half forward three times. Just over 18 minutes gone. It would appear Hawthorne had the hangover from last night. Knocked down by Payton. Folds. Watson backing up well. Missed by Ede. Chance for Merritt. Williams is there. Darren Williams swinging onto the left boot. Moore and Danaher. Touched through for one behind. So the scores on seventh big league. 45 points the difference. We've only been playing 19 minutes. Waiting for the ball to come back into play by Moore. They're really rattled down there in defence because they're running while these uh, bomber forwards. Oh, there's a mark to Madden. He had his name written all over that before it left uh, Moore's boot. 
Centre half forward, about uh, 55 metres out from goal. This fellow's usually a pretty good kick too, but he's on the wrong side of the ground to get the wind behind him, I would say. I think he could kick it from full back the way they're well, playing. Well, he'll have to go, have to swerve it in. And that's what he's trying to do. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. Look at this one go. Oh, what a goal. Nine and a half minutes gone. And the Bombers. Eight goals, 4.52 to Hawthorne, one point only. At the 23-minute mark now of the first quarter, Essendon leading by 51 points. And I agree with you, Lou. Probably Hawthorne's best player, Langford. Deep here to Menico. On to Kelvin Moore. Well tackled. Beautifully done from Bradbury. Spears the pass down to full forward. Just a little bit too long for Bahaja. And it beats Gary Ayres and Frank Donnell over the boundary line. So a boundary throw in. Left forward pocket for Essendon who have been into attack for probably 20 of the 23 and a half minutes played. And they have eight goals on the board to show for it. Deep here to Menico. Merritt shoots the hand pass out to Kink, who casually puts it through for another goal to Essendon. Easy as you like from Renee. And the Bombers running right here. They've got this game well and truly won already. 9-4, 58, Hawthorne, one point. Well, Renee King would certainly be a happy guy. As you can see, this smile on his face as he kicks this goal. Of course, he's trying to make amends for the uh, couple times he had at Collingwood. Uh, Esther have given him his chance. And by the way, he's going today. He's doing it pretty well. He's played very well. Well, he's kicked two goals, a fine effort. And we're just on the 25-minute uh, mark of this uh, first quarter. Renee Kinks had five kicks and three hand pass in the first quarter. That must put him in the rating as one of their best players. Yes, it certainly would. And Brian Wood has also done well too. New ball coming out. That might change Hawthorne's luck. But I think they need more than a new ball. I should imagine their coach would be very concerned, Alan Jeans, because their performance has been very ordinary. But let's not take any credit away from the Bombers. It's pretty hard to go down by 10 goals in the first quarter. Well, they look terrific. And they're playing determined football. They're going straight at it. And they mean business. Of course, they've got a lot at stake. If they lost today, they'd be in serious trouble. Back it comes again. It's Clark driving them further forward again. And coming out the smother as uh, Danaher missed that one. Oh, Moore's grabbed by Renee Kink. This allows Bahaja to kick another goal. Well, the goal this is really monotony at the moment. They're making a farce of this game because they're 10 goals, 464. One of the most amazing starts we've seen in football for many, many years. Matter of fact, I can't remember one. Hawthorne wondered what struck them in the first 25 minutes. Danaher taking two big marks. There's one of them, and here's the other one. Renee Kink with a big kick. Look at this kick. See where the where the, where the lines are, and it, look at how high the ball goes through the goal. An enormous kick by Renee Kink for goal. Two more marks now by Danaher. Good, certain play down there in front of goal. And again. Merritt this time. Hand passes to Kink. Left foot this time. Kink, and he makes no mistake. 30 minutes into the first quarter, and it's 64 points to one as Peter Knight scores Hawthorne's first goal. Kink again. Can't kick the ball up, but he kicks it through. Stand aside now as the Bombers are on the move again. <laughs> Alan Ezard now playing his first game. This is his first kick. And it's a goal for him. Pretty heavy play out in front of goal here. Watch Matthews as he runs through and collides with his teammate. And down he goes very heavily. Dear Peter Menico. In a bit of trouble, and in trouble a second time. The action was pretty lively out there. Oh. Yeah, Peter Menico really in the wars yesterday. 18 kicks, 12 marks as Danaher goes in now to bring up his seventh goal. Goals and kink six for Hawthorne Knights, kick four, three apiece to Bacanara and Matthews. 
Two Bombers 104. Hawthorne 61. The Bombers well on top. It's holding up the breeze. A chance. Yes, for Merritt. Off and running. Feeds the ball nicely out the folds. In towards goal. And he's popped it through. Great stuff by the Bombers. Great agility by Roger Merritt.